Welcome, Gemini, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing you messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to know more about your connection, you can book a personal reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. If you're interested in my latest intention sprays, attraction for manifesting wealth and prosperity and twin flames union for achieving union with self before achieving union with your divine partner you can uh, pre-order yours today and receive a special discount at checkout by using the coupon code spray okay so this is for sun moon rising and venus cross watchers if you're the one watching this it may resonate with you so let's get started I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and good is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, so let me go ahead and spray my area. Make sure we're clear and safe from negative energies. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy that is coming towards the sign of Gemini. What is the energy of the person that is connecting with the sign of Gemini? Who is Gemini connecting to in this now moment? What is the energy that wants to come through for the sign of Gemini? What is the energy that wants to come through for the sign of Gemini? Wow. One more uh, energy, please, Spirit. Okay. So first we have rebirth. Reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. And also we have expansion. Spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light, show the world what you're made of. So Gemini, I really feel like your person wants to have like a, a rebirth with you. I really feel like they're going through uh, some sort of change or transformation. You could be dealing with the Scorpio here. And I really feel like now they're, they're ready to change. They're ready to expand. And for some, they could be traveling towards you. They could be at a distance from you. Okay. That is what I'm seeing. I really feel like if your person was really reserved in the past, I feel like now they're wanting to show more about their true nature. I really have a feeling that your person was really holding back about who they really were, what, you know, you know, what are the energies that they were uh, embodying. I really feel like they were holding a lot back about themselves and not really expressing it towards you. So I really felt that they kept a part of themselves on reserve, not really uh, fully releasing exactly like... Uh, um, exactly like exactly uh, how they were coming off. I feel like uh, they were very timid, um, very shy. Um, and I really feel like uh, this person was holding a lot back. Okay. That's the feeling I'm getting. But now I feel like they've really worked on themselves and they're ready to take things to a new level. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. What is the underlying energy? with a person connecting with the sign of Gemini. What is the underlying energy of the person connecting with the sign of Gemini? There's a, definitely like a new energy that I'm coming uh, that is coming off of your person, Gemini. Okay, I really feel like this person has really changed. I don't know if you're seeing this or, or not. Okay, uh, 
because I really felt like in the past this person was uh, kind of different or they showed a different side of themselves but I really feel like they've really worked on themselves and now they, they're coming and um, with a different energy okay that's what I'm feeling so let's see spirit please clarify the energies of rebirth and expansion okay Please clarify the energy of expansion. Recovery. So this is what I'm saying. Your person, okay, wasn't balanced before in the past, but now I really feel like they're going through a rebirth. They are actually going through um, a time of reinventing themselves. And I really feel like uh, they're creating a new reality. I really feel like your person wasn't stable in the past. And they possibly are, are not stable right now. But I feel that your person is coming back changed. Also, they're going through recovery. Okay. So this person that you're dealing with, um, they could be a recovering alcoholic. Maybe they have like an addiction. Maybe they have an obsession. And now they're uh, letting that idea go. Okay, really working on themselves. And I feel like this is more internal work than external. Okay, so they can expand their horizons and not be so closed off through uh, this recovery process. I really feel like your person has uh, really expanded their third eye or crown chakras. It's what I'm sensing here. Okay, that's actually really beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of a person connecting uh, with the sign of Gemini. What is the energy of the person connecting with the sign of Gemini? What is the energy, please, spirit? How does this person think about you? How do they feel? What do they want? What do they want to do about the situation? What is their challenge? And what is their outcome? So let's see. So I see here uh, the Wheel of Fortune, but it's in reverse. Okay. So I feel that there is a karmic cycle that needs to close in regards to your person. Okay, and it's not over yet between you and this individual from what I can feel. Um, I also see here two of water. So you could be dealing with a cancer for some. What I'm feeling is that uh, this person really didn't choose the connection with you. Maybe you didn't choose them. Take what resonates. But I really feel like um, they need to work on themselves. So this is self-love and self-care. I honestly feel like you could be dealing with a twin. Okay, but there was something that they needed to work on and um, uh, in relation to yourself from what I can feel and hence the reason why I see her recovery okay so this person is recovering and they're expanding their horizons as they're growing um, as they're going through their rebirth I really feel like there was no balance uh, before in the past for some you could be dealing with uh, a Libra also but I really feel like this person needed to learn self-love, okay? And for some, um, they need to get out of a relationship if they're currently in a situation or a karmic relationship of some sort. I'm also seeing that uh, your person, okay, with the three water, there is a third party situation here involved. And what I'm getting is that with the five of water, you could be dealing with the Scorpio here. Uh, they're really uh, reviewing the past really thinking about the karmic situation i really feel like your person realizes that there was always love there between you two maybe your person never recognized uh, this aspect about the connection between you and them and i'm also feeling that you know as they're going through this uh, reflection they're they're expanding on their horizons through this recovery and going through this rebirth okay so i feel like you know they they've did a lot of uh thinking okay a lot of contemplation in regards to like being uh really closed off really and for some narcissistic okay i really feel like uh your person was very cold also you could be dealing with an Aries here, okay? 
there was um, there was no balance from I can feel. I really feel like your person was very controlling over the situation, and honestly, I you know I've been getting this uh, throughout all the readings I've done so far today. Um, but what I'm getting, okay, is that there is a masculine energy that realizes that um, they didn't know that they were acting in this way. I really feel that. Okay, but now I feel like they're reflecting and now they're seeing possibly uh, because of another karmic experience that your person has experienced, um, you know, prior to wanting to be with you or maybe this is after dealing with you. Take it as it resonates. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also getting here with this uh, five of earth. Your person uh, felt like they weren't enough. There was, you know, in the material world, I feel like your person couldn't give you what you were looking for, for some. There, you know, there was no balance here. And also, I see that now they want to offer you something stable. So, there is a lot of change that's going on with your person, Gemini. And I really feel that... Uh, they're going through this death and rebirth, okay? That's why, you know, automatically when I first pulled this card, and it's kind of ironic, guys, okay? If you looked at the cover picture, these are the similar colors uh, that I have for my thumbnail screens. I didn't even plan for that. That is so strange, you know? And I see here uh, the rose. Okay, so there's different color roses that I can see and this all of these roses have different colors But they're very similar in nature I definitely feel like uh, there is an ending to an old and a birthing of something new Okay, your person before was not stable or balanced now. I feel like they're going through recovery and they're changing Okay You know, they could be uh, coming out of a, a relationship that they have invested into for a long time. You know, you could be dealing with a Virgo here. You know, um, another thing I'm picking up on is that they could have lost uh, some uh, resources like uh, material wealth. Okay, and they didn't feel good. They had to recover from their, their losses. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm also seeing here with the page of earth, your person, uh, they could be coming in a little bit immature here, okay? Uh, your person uh, held back in communicating with you about another chance. I really feel that, uh, Gemini, your person wasn't feeling balanced or stable, and as they're going through these changes, you know, they're wondering, you know, would you give them another chance? I feel like they're all in their head and in their heart about making a decision and now they want to move forward. For some, you could be done with a cancer here. And I'm seeing that um, they're getting out of a karmic situation. This could be in a home or an environment. I really feel like um, whatever the case is, they're not really happy with, okay? Um, they could be caught up in a karmic situation for some, but you know, what I'm getting is that you are everything that they ever wanted and hoped for and wished for. But they never told this to you. I feel like either uh, they cut you out or you cut them off. But now they, they're making a choice and they want to work on this connection. Okay. I feel like for some, uh, they know that they didn't treat you fair. And um, there has to be some sort of justice. So I feel like uh, Gemini, whoever your person is, they really didn't value you in a way so that uh, you could get their understanding on things, okay? Or take it as it resonates. You know, I I'm getting mixed energies here for your reading. There's definitely something karmic here. Uh, Gemini, for some, you could be dealing with someone who actually is in a karmic relationship. But for others, I really feel like your person has uh, like something toxic. It's like a, um, a codependent issue. Uh, maybe it it's an obsession. Um, and 
they need to stabilize and balance themselves. But I feel like, you know, it's almost like uh, this person is going through rehab is what I'm feeling. And now uh, they're rediscovering themselves about what went, went wrong. Okay, where was the misinformation coming from? It has something to do with that, you know. Um, that's what I'm getting. You know, there could have been some sort of a secret that they've been uh, hiding from you. And that's why it was stressing them out. And I also see that now they want to invest. They really want to plan for, for something long term. They just feel like, you know, maybe they missed the opportunity to reconcile with you. And I'm also seeing that uh, they're uh, moving away from a situation uh, where it wasn't emotionally fulfilling them and they're working on themselves. Honestly, I really feel like your person is working on themselves. That's that's what I have, Gemini. Uh, you know, I mean, I really feel like this is your twin. Um, it's like I feel that you've really try to understand your person okay and where they're coming from but your person really uh, didn't come off as rational or balanced they were imbalanced okay and i really feel like they're going through some sort of recovery and now they're expanding their horizons that's what it feels like okay they're going through a definite uh like rebirth or transformation and that's what I'm seeing. Wow. Let me know. I feel like it's specific. So how do they think? So they're thinking that they need a time out. Okay. They they know that this relationship has a potential to go to distance. Okay. Or for some, you could be living with your person already. Okay. Uh, but if that's not the case, this person is thinking because I definitely see that there's some sort of a separation here. But this could be, you know, just uh, for them to look at things from a different perspective. And that is to see that this relationship is beautiful. It is filled with love. And for some, you've been dealing with a Pisces, okay? How is your person feeling? Is that there is something that they want to express, okay? And I feel that your person could be younger than you. That you could be dealing with a fire or a sign. And what they want to say is that sometimes it's really hard for them to express their feelings through, I guess emotions right i feel like uh they're better with uh like texting you a message or typing this out rather than uh vocalizing this to you in the physical okay that's what i'm seeing and i really feel like your person was also um you know and this is for some not for everyone they could be uh stressed about money okay they could have told you that you know they were worried about their their financial situation and maybe they didn't feel like uh, they were bringing enough to the table because there was an imbalance here you know maybe they felt lack when it comes to you heck Gemini I mean if you guys need some of this and give it to your person give them some attraction okay this is my intention spray to attract wealth and prosperity into your life okay and you know and give this to your person because I really feel that they're hiding some aspects that maybe they're uh, struggling with and maybe they just feel like they couldn't pull their side of the bargain right and that's for some of you okay I really feel like this is especially if you're actually in a relationship with this person okay that's the feeling I'm getting and what I'm getting here is that they want to leave the past behind Okay, uh, for some, they could have been stingy. They, they possibly felt entitled. Um, they came off as rude. Okay, maybe this is, um, you know, maybe this is how you were treating them and they want to get out of this negative energy. Okay, take it as it resonates. But I really feel like there is like a negative tone about someone being very stingy with their time, focus, energy, and attention. And um, I really feel like they didn't want to invest into the situation. But I feel like it's because it's out of ego and pride. And that's the way they came off. You know, that's what I'm saying. So what are they going to do right now? They're going to give back. So your person wants to give back. And I definitely feel that 
they want to come in quickly okay there's a lot of time that has passed um, you could be dealing with a Taurus could be a fire or air sign okay and the challenge here okay is the this Capricorn okay so you could be dealing with a Capricorn for some and a, another air, earth or air sign so what I'm seeing here is that uh, there has to be clear communication uh, dealing with any kind of like toxicities okay because I really feel like your person's going through recovery and it was because there was an instability here there was no balance however this balance means for you okay Gemini that's why your person's going through a rebirth here and I'm also seeing that um, they want to grow they want to expand they want to learn okay they want to learn from their mistakes they want to be a better person and so they need to let go of this negative energy okay and really maybe um, do some learning okay um, for some they possibly need to go back to college uh, or do like continuing education or studies okay so they could um, you know go back to school to learn a little bit more you know so they could uh, manifest uh, more abundance into their life okay so they can feel good uh, it's another thing I'm feeling and finally in the outcome here, I see that your person will, will want to apologize and I feel like they're going to come in balance. Again, I see here a Capricorn and you could be dealing with a water or earth sign, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Uh, you know, your person will make it right, okay? You just have to hear them out, give them the benefit of the doubt, okay? They're just a little uh, unstable or unbalanced and they just need, uh, I guess, your compassion and understanding that your person is going through recovery and they're, they're trying their best to go through this rebirth and transformation. And that's what I'm saying, wow. Let me know if that resonates, okay? So what are the messages that wanna come through for the sign of Gemini? What are the messages that wanna come through for the sign of Gemini? What messages want to come through, please, Spirit? What messages want to come through for the sign of Gemini? Okay, so automatically, if you can see this, okay, I love you. Your person loves you, Gemini, okay? They really do. It's very strong in this reading. I want to let go of the past and start from the beginning. Let's get to know each other on a deeper level this time, okay? So your person wishes and hopes that you can let go of whatever happened in the past between you two so you can start from the very beginning, okay? And this time to really get to know each other on a deeper level. Also, I'm confused right now and just need some time. I ask, please be patient. I really feel like they're going through recovery and they're learning to balance themselves. So if you can just, you know, like I said, give them uh, compassion, caring, and understanding about where they're coming from. And then, you know, once you feel that, you know, they're ready uh, to conversate with you, then that's what I'm seeing here. I know I ended things badly. Let me make it up to you. So again, I really feel like your person is really asking for forgiveness, you know, and I really feel that they will, they'll, they will make things right because I really feel like your person ends up coming in with this uh, two of earth. They're going to give you a uh, your 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 other half okay they're gonna balance everything and stabilize everything so everything is harmonious and finally <laughs> I want to make love to you so I mean I guess that's the icing on the cake right <laughs> what else spirit what additional messages want to come through for the sign of Gemini what messages want to come through, please, Spirit? What messages want to come through for the sign of Gemini?
far as the person on the stage am I? What does your person want to say? I feel like they want to say something, but they're not sure if they want to say it yet. This person has a hard time of expressing emotions, you know. That's what I'm feeling. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. Wow. They try to push you away. Like, I really feel like your person is really unstable and balanced and unbalanced. They're going through some sort of recovery. Okay. Is there anything else that uh, the person that's connecting with Gemini, what else that this person wants to say? Please, Barry. What does your person want to say? Is there another message? Okay. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So if you're actually at a distance from your person, they actually still watch you from a distance. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what is your person's love language. How does your person show love to you? Because I really feel like they find it difficult to express how they feel. They do watch you, okay? Maybe they don't know how to communicate to you. Maybe they have. Maybe, um, you know, uh, you don't know if you can believe them or not, okay? Uh, I really feel like you're on the fence when it comes to them. That's the feel I'm getting. But I definitely see that uh, they will they're being honest and sincere okay i really do see that so gemini who how does your person express their love when it comes to you how is your person lightening your load so this person likes to help clean uh maybe wash dishes uh maybe cook meals okay anything else how does your person express how they love you you know, you could be dealing with uh, an earth sign, okay? Because earth signs like like to clean. <sighs> Anything else? Maybe you could be dealing with um, a water sign. Could be another air sign. Okay, let's see what this is. Hold on. Okay, it's playing games. So maybe you uh, like to play video games or board games uh, with this person. Okay, and finally, oh, we have here baby names. So maybe they like to enjoy picking out baby names for, for your babies. Maybe you already have babies with your person. But that's what I'm saying, okay? So let me go ahead and wrap up this reading. And um, pull some charms and see what additional messages that want to come through. So I really hope that this reading was helpful towards you uh, so far. Okay, so let's see. So what messages want to come through for the sign of Gemini? Wow. So this wants to go all the way out there. It is a flower, okay? So this flower wants to grow, but it's kind of far out there. In the month of December, I definitely see her a mask, okay? Because someone was not really revealing uh, something about themselves. This could be your person, okay? And um, I also see her a number nine uh, in March. So March 9 could be significant uh, for some of you. Um, maybe uh, you or your person is really thinking about going to Paris. Maybe you spend some time uh, with them or maybe you have like a common interest. Maybe you like to speak French or eat uh, French foods. I definitely see that uh, for some. If you guys are actually um, in physical contact with your person, on Sunday you could be eating out with your twin flame. Okay? And that's for some. Uh, I see here, uh, check again, uh, about like your... Uh, your fortune, okay, with the letter I, 
Okay, so if you know someone with the letter I, um, your person really needs to check maybe their hand for some. Also, we're dealing with the letter Y. Okay, if, if you're dealing with someone with the letter Y, that person is squirrely, right? <laughs> Take care of it. It could be a black squirrel. Um, also on Friday and Saturday, maybe some of you guys uh, are working with the church. Maybe uh, you've been praying and um, there's something that you said that you will, but you're not doing it. Okay. Maybe you're not going to church or uh, becoming spiritual. And I feel like this is um, an event uh, that maybe you decided to do on Friday or Saturday. Okay. Also, I see here. Uh, you're not receiving a uh, communication for some okay weakness is a choice okay so it, you're possibly uh, you're being weighed down because of your weakness so I uh, just kind of like see like where you're at and possibly uh, you could be uh, dealing with uh, someone who is in the limelight okay and also uh, if you're connecting with someone here uh, who are into elephants it's another thing that I'm seeing okay uh, this person um, has like wisdom but you're not exactly sure to trust them okay and I really feel like you're 50 50 on this person but you know what spirit is saying is that you know just just give them the benefit of the doubt right that's what I'm saying so I really hope that this reading was helpful let me know if this resonated with you and thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and your subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpionmoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.